and two is not worried about me. Well, you know, I have a cold, so I'm pretty sure they're worried about me, too. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if you combine our strength. <laughs> yeah, you know, two heads are better than one. Ha ha ha! I'm able to use that a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. <laughs> oh my god, let's just go already because this, this thing's killing me. Paula joined us. Alright, we got Paula! Oh, it's not a cold though, so it's not that epic. <laughs> let's uh. <laughs> my goodness, uh, healing. Oh, oh my god, thank you. Alright. Now that we're all better. Paul, why are your stats so low? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, Paul's at level one! Well, this won't do. Paola, what are you doing? Uh oh, she knows PSI 3, so that makes up for everything. Because it's a very cold wind to swirl around the, the one enemy, inflicting about 180 points of damage. It may freeze your enemy completely. It may not be so effective against some enemies. Uh, I see. That's really, uh, that's really neat, Paula. Alright, Paula got that bread roll and a teddy bear. Well, let's, uh, get out of here, Paula. Dang, that's got a girlfriend before me. This is very, very unacceptable. Probably should wait to record this episode before I found a, until I found a girlfriend or something. But you know, hashtag single life. He's attacking the teddy bear! Leave it alone! Oh, Paul, you missed her first attack. Wait, she's not even equipped to do anything, is she? She's gonna do anything if she tried. Oh, I don't want the cookie. Dang, I, want, I thought Paul was gonna take it. Yeah, Paul doesn't have anything equipped to do. She? Oh, she doesn't have anything. Jeez. Oh, oh, hey! Chris is taken instantly. I'm a photographic genius. If I don't say so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. It's ready. Say fuzzy pickles. Peace. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Uh, yeah, that'll be nice. And, hey, my picture! Yo, that guy. I'm about to, like, I'm about to, I'm about to fist fight him. Come on, tussle? All right, let's see. Huh, it's nice here. Everything's everything's been painted back to I guess normal colors in half a second. <laughs> All right, let's get some uh, moolah so Paula can have some mune and equipment equipment tay. All right, we're gonna get some. We're gonna do equipable items first. Fry pan. Yes, Ness is gonna hold a fry pan. All right, two to twelve. Oh, look, and have the copper bracelet. Uh, pretty sure the Holmes hat, I mean, the ribbon is better than the Holmes hat. But she's already wearing a ribbon, so I guess it makes more sense to. Alright. Nope, we're good. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're gonna buy some croissants. Croissants. Oh, oh, oh. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I actually like croissants. Like they're really tasty. Yeah. So I just just make sure that you guys don't think I'm 
dicking around and whatnot, and making fun of the French people. Well, I'm not making fun of them. I respect them, and I actually ate a croissant before, so you guys can't make, can't get at me about having a French accent when I'm buying croissants. Because honestly, they're very delicious. I like them. I'll go through like a whole bunch of them in like less than 20 minutes. Yes, please. I'll get some refreshing herbs. Apparently, they're really good. We still have to. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. We can do this. We can, no. Uh, but, uh, yeah, actually, hold on. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this cookie. How much can I get it for a cookie? Three bucks. What a ripoff. Just kidding. Oh, no, I don't want anything else. Go away, sir. Alright, we're gonna go into this. Uh. sketchy in here. A croissants! Wee oui, wee, oui. thank you very much. Skip sandwich inside. Paula takes it. We're going to eat that right now just so we can run very fast. Like two hyperactive children. Whee! Wow, there's only two items in there? Okay, hey! Get out of here! Go! Go! Oh, wait. Oh, it's gone. This comforter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. Yeah, you're kind of strange, too. You're blocking me. Yep. Finally, I have a chance to apologize. Oh, thank you. I woke up from, from the dream. Way to go. I too was wrong in many ways. Thank you for uh Thank you for um admitting. Seems like I'm no longer hypnotized. Seems like I'm no longer hypnotized, man. Alright, you know, I'm probably gonna just stop with the accent because I do not want French people and Jamaican people to hate me. I am not racist. I'm cool. My wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky... Wait, my, my wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky man. What? <laughs> he likes a single life. <laughs> Wait a minute. He was happy that his wife came back to him. What the heck? <laughs> this game is horrible. <laughs> I apologize. Apology is something. But sadly, there are no more monsters to fight and no more grind training. So, uh, so yeah, if you uh, defeat Carpenter, um, yeah, there will be no more happy happiness to fight. And before you beat him, it's a good idea to grind train there. You really think I was a bad boy? Yeah, Yo, you're the baddest boy, man. And girls call me the baddest boy at school. Hey, the cow is, uh, cow's blue. The blue cow thing wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? No, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Greens, Nest, please forgive my lecture earlier. You're now welcome to stay free of charge. Would I like to stay? Yes, please. Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. Dude. Where's your sense of humor? All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. But yeah, I guess we finally made things better again. Like, we might have been listening to evil messages rather than good. Yeah. Oh, hi-ho. What the heck? What was that? I smell schemer. Thanks for your support over the years. The food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. 
Oh man, I actually need to do this full stand. They said someone named Pokey stole all the food from the food stand. Oh, well, Pokey's just a fat kid, anyways. We need to return the, the town to its original colors. It'll be very busy. I imagine so. It was hard on the ice to have everything blue. I imagine so. I imagine so. Oh, magic butterflies! Chance. All right. We're all, we're all good over here. All right. We're going to end off this episode with maybe two things. One is something that a lot of people who play Earthbound don't do and do not know. Now, within this cave is uh, Lily Put Steps. It's the dungeon, and this is where the second Your Sanctuary location is. Now, you can go in here and have a very bad time because Paula is very weak, and she's only at level one. And she may not be PSI freeze, but she's still level one. You're gonna have to keep healing her, and that's gonna be pretty tough. The boss is uh, pretty average. He's actually a pretty tough second boss. But one thing you can do, and one thing I'm gonna do, is be different. See, you see what I'm doing right here? You see this? I'm leaving. One thing you can do, you can completely skip this dungeon and come back to it again later. Now, it makes no difference within the game. The game does not freeze, it doesn't break, it doesn't shut off on you. You can completely skip this dungeon and come back later at a really stronger level and it won't affect the game at all. And that's what I did on my first run of the game, because funny story, I accidentally skipped the dungeon without even meaning to, and by the time I unlocked the third sanctuary location, I realized that I skipped the whole sanctuary. And I don't know anybody else who's done this, but to me, I feel like it's a pretty badass idea. And it's my idea, and it's copyright, so no one else can do it. <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, yeah, that's my idea. And uh, another thing i like to tell you guys is that uh, this game has a lot of pop cultural references and um, uh, this whole scene or chapter in Earthbound is based on, um, let's see, a Japanese cult clan that lived in a, that, that their main headquarters was a was a mountain was within a mountain village that had a dairy factory now in case you guys ever noticed this before that cow that we saw is the only cow that appears in earthbound and what do cow what do cows do they produce milk which is dairy which is also calcium but that's that's besides the point uh the creator of this game the great man known as shigesato itoi based this whole scene off of the uh off this kind of terrorist cult group that was in Japan a while ago, a long while back, that did subway bombings and a lot of other dangerous terrorist attacks upon Japan. And their main colors was, I mean, let's see, uh, their leader was some kind of monk guy who claimed he can levitate, and he wore a blue jumpsuit. Which would explain why everybody in this town, or all the foes in this town, wore blue. They, uh... They were a pretty tough group, but apparently they have been disbanded over the few, over the years, and I wish Japan the best of luck, and hopefully nothing like that ever happens again, because honestly, you don't want to mess with, you don't want to have that kind of stuff living in, like, you don't want to have that kind of stuff in your kind of neighborhood. Like, you know, gangs, terrorists, you know? But I just want to tell you guys that. It's a little, it's more history references that I found within this game. And uh, without wasting any more time, because I have six minutes left. And, I, wow, is this only like two videos? How many videos have I done? Well, anyways, um, hopefully that's more than two, but... Without any further ado, we're going to skip the second dungeon and go through Peaceful Rust Valley again. Hopefully we don't die. We have a teddy bear with us, so hopefully we won't get jumped and killed. 
I thought he got a back attack on us. I think the teddy bear saved us. Come on, Paul, you can do it. Oh, the teddy bear. Paula. <laughs> yeah, see, Paula's like really, really weak at uh, this part of the game. And she won't. Well, uh, hold on, she might level up right now. Yep. Level up to level two. Watch this, watch this. Level three. Come on, keep going, Paula. Come on, girl. PSI Fire Alpha. Level four. Come on, Paula. Come on, girl. All right. Paola leveled up three times. That's my girl. Oh, oh my god! How did I see that one? Oh god, we gotta get out of here. We are gonna run away. It's the oak tree, run away! Oh my freaking god. Thank god! Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're not gonna get out of this one, are we? Please, Ness, you guys gotta get away. It's a, it's a tree! Thank you! I got distracted by this magic butterfly. Come on, give it to me. Because there's another one up there. there. There are two on the screen. There was another one up there, and then there was one right in front of my face. I didn't notice him. So they gained up on me using a magic butterfly to trap me. They, they tricked me. I've been bamboozled. Alright, but uh, this episode's gonna end a little bit. So, um... Next time on Earthbound, I'm gonna just make my way through uh, Peace Wars Valley off screen. And oh, level up again! Hey! Oh, hold on, one point HP. Whatever, but yeah, I'm just gonna get out of Peace Wars Valley off screen. And uh. Oh! Hey, the bridge is fixed. That's nice. That was a nice thing to do. Oh, get out! Oh, I'm gonna kill out the present. Blue, blue, oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just saying. Thank God. That tree, yo, I don't like, yo. Every every stage of this game has that one monster that's like insanely OP. <laughs> First in on it, there was the um, Spiteful Crows. And then here, in the Tucson Saga, it was um, Territorial Oak. So we are really gonna wanna get out of here. Good job, Paula. Paola. Bears don't catch cold, stupid. We gotta get our butts out of here. Go, 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 go! Wow, we made it! And I didn't have to cut the video short or anything like that. Whew! I thought I was gonna die. But yeah, we only have two minutes, so I, I'm gonna just like, uh, get through this cave, and next time on Earthbound, we are going to, uh, see what else is Gucci with, um, Tucson, and see what else we can do with it. Oh, we gotta level up PSI Shield Alpha. That is a good one. PSI Shield Alpha block. No, wait, what does it do? Uh, let's see. PSI shield. Protects one person with a psychic shield. It blocks the enemy's PSI attack. Using a different shield will cancel these effects. Yes, PS Paula knows PSI shield, which blocks psychic attacks. And Ness learner knows PS uh, this is regular shield, which uh, increases his defense pretty much. Reduces the damage caused by enemies' attacks by 50%. So yeah, Ness can raise defense. Paula can block PSI. PS uh, Paula's defense shield is better than Ness's. And using either one of them will cancel the effect of the other. <sighs> Finally home. And with one minute left, let's see how far I can go. It's a magic butterfly! Alright, I'm gonna try not to get freaked out with those all the time. And we're gonna try to avoid these mo Oh! Sh uh -huh. Yes, nobody, nobody does that. Nobody knows how to do that. I'm too nice for this. Too nice? Alright, but yeah, we got 30 seconds left, so I guess next time on Earthbound, we are going to finish up the Tucson Saga, and we're going to have fun with it. We're at Pulsar Preschool right now. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. My name is XJD. Like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And uh, for more, 
and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.